Hey guys, Kyle Benedict with ROCP.com. As a few minutes ago, we got our brand new Ryzen 7 1700N. This is the non X version, like we uh, reviewed this morning compared to the 1700X. This is the first retail packaging I've seen. So I thought we would uh, see what's in here together. And. Uh, There we go. That's pretty nice looking. So you can see the processor, the logo on the side there. Let me just be said. Processor comes in a nice box located there on the side. There you go. Brand new Ryzen. I think you can get it there on the screen. I like how uh, AMD's putting them in these clamshells now. Easy to open to get to. So we'll leave it in there for now. Also, you get a Ryzen sticker in there to put on your uh, case if you want. Installation instructions, and here is the cooler that comes with it as well. So, nice presentation again. And yeah, that's pretty snazzy looking. Let's see, get some light over here on you. That is a, that's a fairly robust cooler. Um, dang, I know who makes this. I've seen this one before. Anyway, the fan shroud looks nice. Bring it back in a little bit tighter. Nice copper slug pressed in there. Extruded aluminum cooler. Ah, I like the uh, fact here. The one thing I know nobody's ever liked about the Intel stock coolers is the cheap pins they put on there. These are actually screws to screw down into the base plate. So that's awesome. See, once you put this thing on there, uh, you'd have to uh, you'd have to give it a whole lot of hell to uh, get it to come off. So the one thing that's uh, interesting about the fan here on the cooler is um, see right here. So this is the called the Wraith cooler LED cooler. Let's show you. So right here on the side of the fan shroud, you can grab hold of this tab, and it has a little socket there. It also comes with a. Uh, this cable it's got the uh, RGB LEDs in it so you can insert the cable there plug the rest into your motherboard and you can control this uh, there's a light ring around the edge of here another thing we wanted to look at and uh, so I went and looked it up this looks tremendously like uh, coolers back from shoot from probably the Thunderbird days um, one was I think called Arcua, which is no longer in business under that name, and another called Thermal Integration. So one thing we've been talking about and after I showed you lapping that block the other day is how the integrated heat spreaders have changed. So there's a razor straight edge. And I cleaned the thermal interface material off. So you'll see that even on these coolers, You can see just exactly how straight of an edge we're dealing with there. So that is flat all the way across. So if we take, uh, we'll come back here and look and take this new Ryzen CPU. And put that there. Tighten back in. 
you'll see a flat these CPUs are as well. So the integrated heat spreaders on these units are just is, is extremely flat, where they used to be a, a, a tad bit convex. And that's why you saw a lot of your cooling blocks were actually a little concave shape to them. Anyway, that's the unboxing of the Ryzen uh, 1700.